Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal La Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret Bless Yahawa, Bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father, Yahawa, in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson, and this is going to be more of a response, you know, to the topic and the character Zabak. You know, I look at him as a character, man. He's just, you know, he's out there teaching, you know, that we're Israel, but not teaching correct prophecy. And especially when it deals with the RFID microchip, that's major, man. You know, there's a stumbling block before you, or there's just straight up pride. And it's showing, you know, that you are causing trouble to the Lord's elect, all right, by teaching that the RFID microchip, all right, um, well, let's say that the mark of the beast written in the scriptures is uh, Christianity or philosophy or something of that nature, you know, you know, and not really explaining to the people exactly what it is. Now, one of his guys, as brothers seen, you know, brothers did responses to it where they came across the DC camp. He, well, one guy came across the DC camp, and he was trying to—he was striving to defend, you know, what he know about the mark of the beast. And the brothers corrected him. The brothers reproved him, got on him, because, you know, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, you know. And the guy went to go and say, you know, well, it, it, he admitted it is the mark of the beast, but he said also it could be philosophies or something to that nature. No, you're adding, my brother. Now, I want to read this quick precept, and then I'm going to jump uh, into another one real quick. So this is Ezekiel chapter 3 and, um, and uh, 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right? Now, Great Millstone is the, is the camp, you know, that the Lord is truly using to give warning to the whole four elect around the world. That's straight up. Straight up, man. Giving warning from the Most High of, of the scriptures and what uh, the mysteries and the scriptures mean. Because we're in a time of reveal. We're in a time of revelations. We're in a time that the Lord, you know, is revealing before his great and dreadful day. All right? He's preparing the elect for the day of the battle. And if you wise... You out there that are, that are listening and you watch all these different camps and, and, and per se, all right, and you're watching Zabak and HOI and his camp, you know, you have to ask yourself, you know, what is the mark of the beast? And when you ask yourself that, all right, get into the research of what you hear about what is the mark of the beast and the most high should guide your steps if you are of the elect, okay? Now, the, R, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, the radio frequency identification chip. Now, that chip is game changer. You know, it's game changer when you get inside of it. So let me finish, you know, before I keep drifting on because I'm a little excited, all right? Um, and I just want to capture uh, what the Lord gave unto me to speak. So, all right, uh, back in Ezekiel 3, and and uh 17 son of man i have made thee a watchman unto the house of israel all right because great millstone is truly watchman sitting upon a tower waiting to see what the lord is going to say unto us okay seeing what time and season we're living in seeing that we're getting closer and closer and closer to the end of esau's kingdom all right it says Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. What is the Lord's mouth? What is the Lord's face? The Bible. It says, and give them warning from me. So when we're out there teaching, we're out there as prophets, because the word prophet means to say before. We're out there as seers, because we can see the prophecies. We can hear the warning from the Most High. All right. And we're out there to warn the people. We're not out there, all right, for glamour, for uh, fame. 
We're not out there to look good. We're out there just to teach the truth. And if you are of the most high, you're going to hear us, as the scriptures say. You're going to recognize the truth when you hear it. The Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, man. Wherever he go, they go. All right, roughly paraphrasing. When you hear the Lord's truth, and you was once of the truth in your past, all right, then you're, when you hear the truth today, you're going to walk straight in it, man. Straight up. We're out there to warn. And what's going to happen is, I'm telling you, you know, the guy, Zabak, I can see it, man. The pride in which you have, because you don't want to be corrected by Great Millstone, which you scoffed and which you hate so much about us and spread forth us to be the worst camp ever. That's cool, you know, and have y'all laugh and jokes and drink wine and talk shit about Great Millstone. But you, but you know, we, we got the truth, you know, I, I could see, you know, if the Lord judge you on that mat, on this matter, man, by leading the, leading the flock, you know, wrong, he's going to have your flock come against you and destroy you, man. Now, this guy is a proven example by coming across the, the men, real men of the Lord. All right. The brothers out there in D.C. came across them brothers camp. And, and 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 basically got exposed, man. That's what you teaching? This is what your followers believe about the mark of the beast? You're in danger. You're in trouble. But let me say this too, before I, you know, lose 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 the thought of it, that there are many secret disciples out there in the different camps. And they're secret disciples of Great Millstone. You guys that's out there that's secret disciples of Great Millstone that follows the teachings of Great Millstone, but then you following also these different camps, they're going to be the ones that not going to take the mark of the beast, all right, because they know better. But Seth, hey, but then again, it's according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because you might got pride. I just know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's going to deliver the elect everywhere they at in the world. All right, and there is some of the elect sincere men that are of these different camps. But you, Zabak, because of your pride, because of your fame, and what you you have, the Most High builds you up, and He could take you down, man. That's a great fall. You know, the Lord said Yahweh Shah Himself that you know, hey, He didn't take on no reputation, man. You know, reputations are are, are bad because you're gonna live for something and die for uh, for uh, for your rep. You will live for your rep. Your rep get built up and then you would die for your rep whether you wrong, whether you wrong or right. All right? You know? Hey, we supposed to be humiliated. We supposed to be demonized by these Edomites because we're bringing out the truth. We're just reading the scriptures. We're just warning our people. We're waking up the, the elect of our people. That's all. So let me continue to read Ezekiel 3 and um, keep losing my uh, track where I'm at. Uh, verse 18. It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou gavest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thou hand. All right. Yet if thou warn the wicked and, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So that's why it's very important to warn the Warn the Lord's sheep correctly, man. Correctly. So that our blood don't be, um, you know, how can I say this? As the scripture would say, you know, so that we would get the dirt off of us, man. So that we could be blameless. Whether that man repent or he don't get it. He repent or he don't. We done the job. That's why we out there just to teach the truth and sincerity, man. All right. Because we we're looking for mercy on the Lord. We're not looking to be celebrities on this side. Even though the scriptures say we're going to be, uh, the scriptures say um, in the land we will put to shame. We're going to be roughly paraphrasing. Um, we're going to be glorified in the land we will put to shame. All right. But let the Lord do that. And precise, that's going to happen because eventually there's going to be nothing else to live for but knowing this truth. Scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So, yeah, the Lord is going to make brothers famous. All right. Hey, second Edge 16 said, then you shall know who are my chosen. When they come down with great wrath, that's the fame you're going to get, man. Yeah, we got little fame here because now this Israelite thing is popping off. It's, it's sparked, you know, uh, uh, Israelites around the world. 
Okay? And the Lord said that. When this truth shall go through the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. So it's supposed to go around the four corners of the earth. You know, a lot of people want to know where it started from. Who are the heads? Where does doctrine come from? So the men that been out there, and I'm going to say it, my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and plus a block, he been out there for a while. All right? And these other different camps, they're looking at these heads. They're looking at these camps. But I'll tell you something. You better... You better figure out who has the truth because if not, you, a hey, the blind lead in the blind. They both, all right, shall fall into destruction, man. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? So like you for my uh, rough paraphrasing if I am, but I'm in the spirit. You know, I got a lot of thoughts running through my mind. So, you know, what I'm saying, you can Google search the words and it will come up. You know, we all got to work in this truth. All right. So um, let's jump back. Verse uh, 18, Salakia, verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. All right, verse 20. Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I live. <laughs> I got interrupted. Verse 20. Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. All right. So now, pertaining to the guy that came across the camp, you know, he wanted to add unto the mark of the beast. There's no adding. There is no adding. And I must read Revelations 22. All right. Starting at 17. It says, And the spirit of the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. All right. The water is the word. Let him take this word freely, man. All right. It says, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. All right. So you hear, you hear what? If you add, that's why this truth of ours is scary. This is what keeps brothers in check. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through the Spirit, He keeps us in check to not falling into our own understanding, man. You know, all the breakdowns that the prophets, the apostles brought out to us as young brothers, we search, okay? We 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 hear, we learn, and we research and learn for ourselves, you know. And AAA, and when you research, Hey, you find out, hey, damn, this is the truth. You got the history to match, okay, the times in which we live in and now. You know? And importantly, it's faith. It's faith. All right, so um, it says, verse 20, He that testified these things say, Surely I come quickly. To Wab, even so come, Lord Yahweh Shai. The grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, be with you all. To Wab. All right, so you don't want to add, man. And this guy... You know, the brothers, you know, was t he agreed that it was the mark of the beast, but then he said it's also philosophy and this and that. What are you talking about? Now, for the sake of edification, I want to read the, the mark of the beast scripture, which we all know by heart. All right. Revelation chapter 13, 15. Now, uh, 16. Let's get there. Because all right, I didn't read 15. All right. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast is the system. All right. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's not talking about the Cesare Borgia sign. That's not talking about the uh, whoever who, who everybody ignorantly called Jesus Christ. It's not talking about that image. It's talking about the system. The, the, the mark of the beast, OK, is going to be caused upon all. Small, I'm going to read. And he calls of all. Key word there is he. So you know it's a person. 
Who is the he? Esau. Edom. Who runs the world? Esau. Now it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right? So that's showing you that the mark is a physical mark. It's not dealing nothing with Christianity and philosophies, man. It's talking about something physical. And this is why it's very important to get into the words. So when you look up the word mark, the word mark goes back to the Greek word karagma. All right? Karagma means branded and printed mark. A device incision up under the skin, man. That is the RFID microchip. Okay, the B system is the is the biometrics. Is the is the is the system that's that plays along you having the mark of the beast, man. You're gonna be subject to it. We're all subject right now to to um to uh the currency at hand, which is the uh petrodollar, you know, the Federal Reserve note. All right, we all subject to it. Without it, we can't buy or sell. When they change the system, whatever how they do it, you know, we have uh, ways that we perceive on how they may do it. But until it be done, we know that the system is going to be all around based on the mark of the beast. That's why when you dig into the RFID microchip, you you, you can understand, you know, the, the power in which it holds. It's a miracle device. It's an identity uh, 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 chip where it can identify you. It's a, a new form of currency deal, dealing with digital money, all right? It's also a GPS tracker where it can track you. It also is a, it's, it's a miracle far as dealing with certain health and ailment of your body where a paraplegic or, you know, someone that has an ailment and it, it needs to all, always get treated when they go to the hospital. It's a quicker way for doctors to understand what's your problem and to treat you. You know, they even creating these devices, all right, to where it can actually um, help the body, help your ailment and what it is, you know, instead of taking all these drugs. This is game changing. The RFID chip is a is a is a is a brain hacker. It hacks your brain waves. You know, when you get into all of this and you see for yourself, you you clearly understand that is the mark of the beast. All right. Now you have China. You have Sweden, you have uh, East India, you have these places where, well, let me talk about China because China, we all are watchmen, we all seeing what's going on, watching the politics, seeing where, uh, uh, where, where the war is coming into, you know, we're seeing who believes they up next to rule, and that's China. China believes that they are above America and they're going to actually be the next dynasty kingdom that's rule the world. All right, they're right now are beating Esau when it comes to technology, when it comes to biometrics, when it comes to the big brother. All right, surveillance uh, uh, watch. Right now in China, people are microchip. They got stores where you can only buy through your phone. You know, you can only buy through digital currency. They also, it's so bad in China that you talk about a police state. They are the police state. They're the beginning stages. All right. When I got a video, well, not I got a video. There is a video which I want to put up. I meant to put up yesterday, Lord willing, maybe tonight when I get home. But there's a video showing you that in China, the people are are being uh, surveil uh, are being penalized by surveillance. If I'm saying that right, by cameras, man. You, you don't need a cop to. Uh, to give a person a ticket if you do anything wrong like litter or whatever it is against their laws that they have in their land they can mail you a ticket or they can find you do what through this technology man anything you do you could be blacklisted because of civilians because of cameras watching they have biometrics where they pick up your face and face you scan you and that, that that registered to a database of all of you and your family members and and every bit of change of money you make man this is that's why they believe that's why china believe they're up next and america's falling all right we see this place babylon the great mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots all right which is known as america spiritually called sodom in egypt we see this place plummeting man it's falling. It's, it's going down. No matter how much Trump or whoever Trump supporters and 
any of these Edomites want to uplift this place, this place is falling. It is finished. It's finished. The I gotta say it, cause I'm you know the morals, the values, the principles. This place is done. It's more wickedness than it's ever been. This is literally spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Okay, so when you know these things, digging into the chip. Now I'm doing this show and helps, you know, reproof, you know, and also for those of the whole four elect that's out there, if you so-called confused, well, you shouldn't be, you know. Now, uh, let me get back into it. I'm getting hot. Shit, it's raining out here. It says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. All right. So that's a physical mark. Okay. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Because when Jacob's trouble come and when they force this chip upon you, then what? According to your philosophy, your false breakdown of the mark of the beast, if, if it was Christianity or philosophies or whatever you're saying it is, then we must all had we must all got the mark of the beast. If it's Christianity, a lot of us that came into this truth, hey, we were brought up in Christianity, being the Black Baptist, Pentecost, Jehovah's wickedness, you know? And a lot of us woken up from the truth. So that means that what? We have taken the RFID microchip. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so used to saying it, but that's the spirit. But that means that we all have the mark of the beast already. Now, the question is, according to that, all right, if we all have the mark of the beast, did the Lord say anything about repenting from having the mark of the beast? You see? This is when you gotta you gotta think, man. You gotta use your noggin, man. You gotta be spiritual. You gotta ask these questions. With these questions not being asked, then you're being ignorant, man. Or you just pride, you have pride, you know? You don't you can't change your doctrine because you can't let Great Millstone correct you. You know? I got a precept too. I hope I hope I remember to bring it out, you know, for the followers that's following after that false doctrine. You know, that's leading them down the wrong path, man. You in trouble. You in trouble, man. It says, um, in, in my personal opinion, you know, I'll say this is my opinion. You know, I think, you know, this, you know, springing up about you. Here it is, Great Millstone talking about you again, Zabak. It's because this might be your last, your last straw, man. Lord showing mercy for you to repent and, and to teach your congregation correctly. You know, you got all that fame. You got, you got boast up. You got pumped up. You know, hey, could be. You know, the Lord said He chastened in the ones He loved. He also correct the ones He loved. You know, who knows? You know, it's just my humble opinion on that, man. All right, so it says, and and that no man might buy or sell. So showing you, you have to, you aren't going to be able to buy nor sell. All right, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man. And his number is 600, three score and six. And there's Edomites out there that has no doubt, no shadow of a doubt that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. That's sad. That's sad. You got, you got, and them, you know what? They could be Israelites. Y'all see that, man. <laughs> Cause they, 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 they cl clear minded when it comes to what's the mark of the beast, you know, doing videos, explaining, getting into, you know, the currency, the, the, the you know, the cryptocurrency uh, uh, thing, you know? Knowing that that's a prelude, that's a a, a prelude before they actually a test run before they actually uh, make it, you know, make the money all digital money. We went from uh, coins, we went from to dollar to dollar bills, all right, to credit cards, to credit cards with chips, and now we leaving from credit cards with chips to microchips inside your hand, man. You know, it's as clear as day, man. You know, uh, let me get this scripture real quick before I forget. Uh, it says Ezekiel. I know this is going to be a quick lesson, but uh, he's 14. Right now, this is Ezekiel chapter 14 and 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. So we're not taking this and getting personal, man. You know, we're warning, man. 
It's not a personal attack, you know, and, and oh, Great Millstone, here they go again, you know, always picking and always starting fights, and, you know, uh, they just, they, what they call us, the, uh, the, 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 the worst camp out there, all this and that, we we'll just let brother, let people be, no, we can't let you be, because we're a mouthpiece of the Lord for warning, you know, from falling down the path of destruction, all right, so, you know, we're going to continue until the Lord closed the roof of the mouth of the prophets, man, so that nobody is prophesizing no more. All right, because then it's ball game. It says, and the prophet, and if the prophet that be deceived when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord Yahweh, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. So you're gonna bear the punishment for teaching that bullshit. You know, it's gonna come out. I really believe, you know, you know, this is probably your last warning. You know, I really believe, and that's just my humble opinion, you know, and I really believe that, you know, if the Lord finds you guilty and a against coming against his word and not teaching the truth, he's going to have your, your own congregation destroy you, man, because they're going to be in trouble. They're going to ask you, what, what, what are we going to do when this thing tighten up and Esau tighten up when, when actually, uh, Britain, Brexit leave the EU, you know? That prophecy be fulfilled, man. And and this thing really start hit start to hit the fan. It's gonna tighten up out here, man. More so-called terror attacks gonna happen, man. It's gonna be chaos, man. It's gonna be stressful way before the you know the, the great uh anarchy in this place, man. When they start saying, oh, this, you gotta do this, you know, the people gonna ask you. They're gonna be looking for you. Unless you're gonna hide, <laughs> they're gonna tear you apart, man. You know? Uh anyway. It says, and if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So that's, that's scary, because you don't want to be following a false prophet. Because guess what? Don't think that you're not in trouble. If you out there putting your hand to the plow and you're teaching, a, you're teaching what you know a false prophet taught you, and you're deceiving the people, you're gonna see the same judgment that that prophet taught you. That judgment. That's why this truth is scary. You know, you really have to be clear-minded. You know, you have to be uh, 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 someone of serious minded man, and really learn what you into. What are you actually doing? What are you out there promoting? You know? It's not about fame. It's not about views. It's not about all because all these people flocking to you and giving you money or whatever the case is, man. It's not about the carnal shit, man. This is all spiritual. It's all about our faith. We need our faiths to be strong, man. We want to be right and sure about what we believe in. We want to have a full assurance of faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Knowing that we did all we can do. All that we can do so that the Lord can have mercy on us in a time of trouble, man. Because we all going to need it. Me, you, and everybody. Shit. You know, we all going to need it, man. This is troubled times, and we're headed into it. Until that time come, then these videos like this will be taken seriously, man. You're going to be looking for videos like this. You're going to be looking for the spirit, you know, for you to be charged up and, and ready to, to be strong for the Lord. You know? Because the scriptures say when a famine come on the world, they're going to go what? To and fro. Looking. Esau going to take down all these videos, man. When they shut the prophets up. There ain't nothing we can do. And guess what? We're going to be happy. We're going to be rejoicing. Because we know it's the end. We know Yahweh Shai is near. All right? Paul said salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. We're truly living in a, in a, in a, in a time of, re, of, of reveal. Of the Lord revealing the prophecies. We're, we're in a time of revelations, man. We're in it. We're walking in it. The, like I said in the one of the videos, I think in my last video maybe. We are still living in the book. The Bible has not finished out. The, the, the Bible have not finished played. It have not finished playing out yet. Alright. That's why this book is the number one selling book each year. Alright. And the scriptures say none shall want her meat. 
because no other book can make and join itself, not even the Quran, since y'all want to act like that's the closest book to the Bible or better than the Bible. All right. It can't mate with the scriptures. The scriptures sit alone. This is the Lord's word. All right. It's, it speaks of prophecies. It's prophetic. And, and the history is on point to the T. All right. The mysteries are given. All right. To the Lord's elect. Just because you can't get the mysteries don't mean that the, the Bible ain't real. It ain't true. Prophecies ain't going to happen. You know. Another thing too. What runs through these people's minds. They say the white man wrote that book. The white man wrote that book. The Edomites did not write this book. Then they go, well, man wrote it anyway. How are you going to believe that? Yeah, the Bible was written by man, but it was inspired by the Most High. And we believe because of faith. And we believe also because of prophecies. We believe also because of the history. In order to know your future, you must know your history. It's all, you hear that all the time, man. All right? And we're, we're, we're right now in the book you know, of revelation, meaning things to be revealed. Esau is being revealed, you know, Daniel's, uh, what is it? The second chapter, you know, when it speaks about the iron and the clay, we're truly living in that, in that, in that time of the iron and clay, you know, America ain't nothing but a refurbished Roman empire. That's all it is. That's all it is. They sat a little bit because the Lord took them out. We ruled Europe for a time. Okay. We ruled them for a time. And then Esau came back and whitewashed that whole history when we ruled all of Europe, man. And stole who we was, who we was. And these different um, heroic uh, events that happened in the past, they put their faces on it as if they were them. We were the real Vikings, man. Okay? Achilles. And so on, man. Spartan. All that good stuff, man. And they whitewashed. Just like they still whitewashing everything today. But anyway, I didn't, I didn't mean to go too far off. Now, I want to, um, well, I didn't mean to drift off, you know, into a different direction. But I want to stay upon uh, this lesson. Now, I want to get, uh, I want to get this uh, scripture because, um, because uh, the question should be, if you take the mark of the beast, can you repent? That should be the question in your mind. If you take the mark of the beast, can you repent? Because according to the, your philosophies and your breakdown of mark of the beast, HOI, Zabak, is that, you know, I, you know, then if that's the case, then we all should have had the mark of the beast. If it's Christianity, because we were in Christianity. Some of us was. Some of us was just niggas on the block, believed in God, didn't really go to the churches. Some of us parents, you know, forced us into forced them into the churches every Sunday, you know, <laughs> You know, so what you going to say about that? So the question should be, if you take the mark of the beast, can you repent? I think not, because the Lord never wrote a scripture in the Bible where it says you, you could take the mark, but if you re, you could repent from it. All right. Now, this is Revelations chapter 14 and 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. That great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine and of the wrath of her fornications, man. That's the philosophies of this wicked world, the society in which you live today, man. You know, now it says Babylon is falling. Babylon is falling because it's the angel seeing this place actually falling, man. Actually fell, should I say. Now it says because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image. Because how are you, uh, uh, you know, worshiping the image, the system? By, by taking part in the system Being joined into the system Alright You didn't put up any rebellion Or Or denounce You know the wickedness You just went along with it Because you felt as though This is my way to survive I got to do according to what Esau said The most high is drawing the line The, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ He is drawing the line Once and for all That's it He's drawing a line because there's an end to this madness and this wickedness that's going on today through Esau and the other nations. You know, it's, he's drawing a line. It says, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. 
which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall torment with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to die of a grievous death. All right, you're going to die by the what? The thermonuclear missiles when they rain upon this place called Babylon, a.k.a. North America, man. All right. You know, they don't talk about. Well, let me stay on topic. <laughs> let me get the next one. You know, you can't repent from the mark of the beast. This is Revelation chapter 15 and one. And I saw another sign in heaven. Great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled with the wrath of Yahweh. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that have gotten the victory over the beast. And over his image. And over his mark. And over the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass having the harps of Yahweh. Alright, so these are the men that the Lord delivered from the mark of the beast. You know, that's why we understand when you read Revelations 3 and 10. It gets into what? The hours of temptation, man. Okay? The hours of temptation, which is the time of the force of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right? And um, that's basically it. And now I'm going to wrap this up. It's pretty long now. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. We know what the word temptation mean. The desire to do something wrong or unwise. What is what is uh, the desire to do something? Okay, it's a desire. Something that you, you, you desire to do. Alright? Meaning you choose to do. Which is uh, wrong. What is wrong? Taking the mark of the beast. Getting that chip incision up under your skin. Even if you take it out, can you repent? No. Because once you receive it, that's it. All right. At the end of the day, the Lord is going to deliver his elect. He never said that there was going to be a brother or brothers that take the mark and then they was going to repent from it. There is no prophecy on that, man. All right. And obviously, uh, when you read this, when you read this, you know, because people are simple, man. People are so simple, man. Um, second address, chapter nine. And, uh. Wait a minute. Let me see. I got my pocket for here. Let's see. Get it real quick. Because people are simple. They want to try to find a way out. Always trying to find an excuse according to their will, man. Now the Lord said this. Second Edges chapter 9 and 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Nope. Hold up. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh, okay. That's good. So I'm going to start from here. This is Second Edges chapter 9 and 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved, all right, because this is about salvation, and shall be able to escape by his works. So if you ain't got no works, you take the chip. Because people are simple, man, I'm telling you. You ain't got no works. You ain't show no works toward your, your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And you take the chip and then you take it out and be like, look, I can still be saved. No, you can't because you ain't got no works. Faith without works is dead. All right. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right, so if you despitefully casting away the words of the Lord right now, and then you think you're going to get right later, then you 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 shit out of luck. The Lord I ain't dealing with you. It says, and they, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Because you would say, all right, you got these jokers, because Israel is crafty too, man. And supplanters, you know, Jacob, Yaqua. You know, here it is, a man of the Lord be like, well, I'll take the chip, you know, and then I'll take it out. I'll get the benefits from it, you know, so I don't be troubled, and then I'll take it out. You know, Jake don't think of this dumb shit, man. You're going to be destroyed. 
It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have lofted my law while they yet had liberty, and when yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. By pain, man. All right, so, you know, that's that's it, man. I uh, hope you guys were edified. You know, that's just my humble uh, 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 lesson, Lord willing, to edify those of the hopeful elect, man. And dealing with this character of Bach, you know, I believe in my humble opinion, this is probably your last straw, man. And the Lord just, you know, Lord, you know, if the Lord had not marked you already, who knows, man? You guys are part of this unity stuff. You know, you have broken, man, whenever you have been for the Lord. You know, any man could teach. Even Satan could teach the scriptures, you know? All that unity shit, you know, letting, letting, uh, holding back your sword, guilty of that. Holding back the sword, man. Just to get, just to go along to get along. You know, don't want to don't get no conflict with no other brother because you feel like you ain't in a you ain't in a position to do that. You guys are crazy, man. Even you, you can talk about Great Millstone all you want. Keep talking about it, but we know through the Spirit and our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we're doing the right thing. Because at the end of the day, we're reality. We we are we are reality, man. Through through the power, Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because it's not of our words; it's of Him. We're just teaching it correctly, man. We're doing our best to be sincere, to be defenders of the gospel. That's all. You know, and if you feel some type of way with that, I'm pretty sure you ain't get to this point, the end of the show. And then you you all in your feelings, you know, and you probably leave a thumbs down or a nasty comment, you know, or a nasty response instead of taking this as correction. You know, so, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.